What's going on fam, and welcome to a Be Meyer special. Well, it's not really a Be Meyer special. It's just another YouTube video. Welcome, good morning. I don't know where you're at today, but I hope you're having an incredible, incredible day. I just got done with the Stairmaster, did 10 minutes. I've been working up, I wanna get 20, the highest level with a full 20 minutes. Um, and until I get there, I'm gonna keep working. Now, really quick, today what I wanna be talking about and going through, I'm gonna show you different types of movements. I wanna talk about pull-ups versus bodybuilding and things in the gym. So, which are more effective? And this is a very, very, very controversial topic. Now, bodybuilders would think all day, oh yeah, like, like weight training is the way to go for back and all these different things. Look at my back for a second. Okay, the majority of my stuff that I always did was bodyweight training for my back. And it's very wide, it's very cut, has a lot of thickness. But at the same time, my genetics are pretty incredible. My dad has a nice back, my brother has a nice back, and uh, my dog has a nice back. So, here's the facts. You can, 100%, build a big back with only bodyweight training, specifically because bodyweight training, a lot of the movements are pulling movements. If you're doing them right, all the pushing movements can be extremely, extremely effective. But when it comes to back, and it comes to pulls, bodyweight training is a great, great way to build muscle. Now, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna show you a couple of different movements. Let's ride. Okay, so when you talk about the pull-up, you have different variations, right? And it all comes down to your hands. Are they pronated, are they supinated, are they neutral? Are they kind of in a neutral to supinated grip? So, let me give you an example. You can also, from a narrow grip to a wider grip, target more of your lats. When you come a little bit closer, you're now targeting a little bit more of your traps with your lats. And also, of course, your posterior chain, like your entire posterior chain, really, because you're contracting. Now, the most important thing is that when you are doing any type of pull-up is to, I see this all the time, bodybuilders, they do this, and they think that they're like targeting more of their lat. Really, you're just putting yourself at a unsafe position. Like, it's the truth. So, you want to stabilize in your core here. And it's not just breathing out and squeezing as hard as you can. That's not what it is. It's, if you put your hand on your stomach, breathe into it, and squeeze. That's what it should make. It should make it hard all the way around, okay? If it's not hard all the way around or close to, it can't be completely, because your obliques are, Whole different story, I'm not gonna get into it. Um, but that's generally what you want. So, for pull-ups, the great thing about it is that you can attach weight to yourself. You can also increase the variation with how explosive you are, how quick you are, um, muscle-ups. You can incorporate so many different types of things, right? So when you're up here, and let's say you're too easy at, at pull-ups and you don't have any weight, right? And you're like, all right, this is easy. I need something more advanced. Well now, do some pause at the bottom and explode and clap your hands. Boom. Boom. You wanna catch again, right? So there's different variations that you could be completing, especially with the volume. It's killer, it's absolutely killer. That's how I built a big back. It really is from all the body weight movements. Now, bodybuilders and bodybuilding, can you really build the same size back as a bodybuilder or men's physique guy or whatever it is with only body weight training instead of bodybuilding like in the gym i think so i do believe so the thickness much harder to, to achieve because of the variations in what you're completing but if you add some weight i'm telling you right now your back's going to be crazy strong now let me show you a couple movements that you could be doing right over here so if you're in the gym Obviously rows are gonna be really, really big for you. But here's the difference between just going in there and trying to lift as much weight as possible and being strategic with every movement. So if you see, I'll take a uh, 95 for example, okay? So I take this over here, right? Now, I have three ways I can do this, okay? I can go here and flare out my elbow, completely, completely abduct, and do like a horizontal, more of a horizontal, uh, what do you call it, Abdu I can't remember. Addu abduction, mm -hmm. horizontal abduction right here, right? Yep. You can do that. And that's gonna work a little bit more of your trap, of course, because you're squeezing here. You're always squeezing here, and you're coming up here, right? You can come to your side here. Unfortunately, this is not gonna work as much of your lat or your posterior capsule. So this capsule here, posterior side of your shoulder. Um, 
you're really gonna be working a lot more biceps and also that lat, of course, in your trap. And then you have the one that's about 45 degree angle. That's the one that I generally do. It just depends on the variation. And that's really going to build a lot of size and strength and stability around that, sh that shoulder capsule. Because remember, the more stability you have, the stronger you're going to be. And that's why I always tighten in my stomach. So check this out. So this is where I go, right here. You wanna come right over here a little bit? This is where I go right here, watch. Boom. Right? So I'm here rather than here. So you'll see the difference. You're working so much more bicep there. You really are. So you wanna be right here, about that 45 degree angle, 30 degree angle, sorry, um, from that adduction position right here, okay? So I generally like to do four sets of this and I superset it with another movement. Maybe it's back, maybe it's chest or something like that. Um, just to engage a little bit more muscles and to even work my core a little bit more. Now, that's one of the movements for bodybuilding. Now, Brennan's dying, Brennan's dying. So, a couple of the movements that you could be doing here for bodyweight training to make it even harder. And remember, the cool thing about bodyweight training is the variations and the uniqueness behind every single movement that you're doing. This is one of my favorite. By the way, I just completed back. Make sure you're not in it, Taylor. Mm -hmm. Go back over here. So this is what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna be hanging here and my body's gonna come up this way. It's like an ice cream maker, right? So if you have this, that's gonna work. As you know, any movement that you're going into extension of that shoulder capsule is going to work those lats, right? Now this will, the cool thing about it is also work your core. So as you can see, a lot of body weight guys have very, very strong cores, especially very defined cores. A lot of it comes down to what you're eating, of course, and how much fat you have laying over those muscles. Now, this is another movement that I like to do. Much, much more difficult. By the way, I just hit back, so if I can't do it, bear with me. But you come here and boom. You can always tuck in your knees to make it easier. You can straddle. So that's, again, another example of a very, very tough movement that you can be doing for bodyweight training. So, to fully summarize what I've been saying, can you build a massive back with bodyweight training just as big as bodybuilding? Yes and no, yes and no. Honestly, um, I, believe, I believe so, um, but my mind could change at any minute if I take a test subject here and he does the same thing for bodyweight training and there's not the same difference. Uh, or there's no, or, or there is a big difference, sorry about that. Um, so, for you, if you're a bodyweight guy, which you most likely are if you're watching this, because that's how you followed me, that's where you started, um, then definitely continue. But just increase that variation and that volume is gonna be so, so important. And also the speed, the speed of your movements. Remember, everything with resistance comes down to the levers. Like, are you, are you a little bit more stable in the position? Um, how much more resistance are you able to actually create or like force are you able to actually create? Because some positions you just can't, right? So you need to stabilize with their core. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to see a lot more strength build up and size build up. That's why bodybuilding is pretty amazing in the gym. I mean, you can stabilize with putting something on your chest and then really, really pull. But hey, you're not working on those abs in that full core, the erector spinae down the spine, all these different things. So that's kind of my summary. I want to do these videos like every single week. I want you guys to really understand and take advantage of the training, but also the nutrition. I want to have some nutrition videos. I want to keep on going with full days of eating. I want to do all these different things. I step on stage in 94 days now, and I'm not stopping there. I want to make it big time and I wanna do it natural, because I think natural is the way to go. That's what I believe in. Um, also, really quick before I go, remember my podcast is every Tuesday and Friday. If you want motivation, next level motivation, go check that out, it's on iTunes, across all audio platforms. Also here on YouTube every Tuesday, sometimes every Tuesday. Um, and then also, Create You Nutrition. Create You Nutrition is coming out at the end of July to beginning of August. I'm super, super excited for that. I don't want you to miss out. Greens juice, high level greens juice, creatine HCL. You already know I love my creatine HCL. And we have so much more coming. Probiotics, stress product, vegan protein. We're coming with a bang and I don't wanna stop because I want influencers to take advantage and I want them to be compensated for what they're worth and I want you to be able to be taking something that you can trust, number one, and pay a very good price for so you don't have to worry about the, all the extra bullshit that you see in the industry. 
I'm kind of tired of it. I'm kind of tired of everything that's been happening with the industry and this product and this product. Hey, let's just get this out. Let's just get this out. We've been formulating things for months and months and months and months. No bullshit. Just value, value, value. So thanks for tuning in for another uh, another day, another freaking video. I'm the B Myers. I'm Brendan Myers. Follow me on Instagram at the B Myers. Also, I'm on Snapchat once in a while. B Myers WR. I'll see you next time. Peace.